Good morning, everyone. This is Mitch with SC Weather. Hope you all are um, having a good start to your weekend. I'm um, here to talk a little bit of weather and what we can, uh, we're starting to see maybe in the long range, uh, giving us some hints of what we can expect maybe going into the de December and things like that. Plus, I'll give you a an update on Thanksgiving weather. Looks like conditions may be starting to look a little bit better than my last video, but <clears throat> I got this screen up, guys. I'm at 902 subscribers. I'm trying to get to 1,000 before the end of the year. Um, we're starting to get to the winter months, so I'm um, going to be talking more and more about winter weather, which is my favorite thing about weather is uh, winter weather, which is unfortunate because I live in the south and I never get it. But if you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit it. Um, it's much appreciated. Uh, you won't regret it, and I'll keep you updated. My videos will get better in the future. Um, it's still a growing process that I started almost a year ago now, but my Twitter links here, Facebook here, very active on both. But let's get deep into this. So the last few days, and I'm sorry if y'all hear my kids in the background, um, we're getting ready for our day and um, I don't have an enclosed area to really set up in right now. So if y'all hear any screaming in the background, my apologies, try to ignore it. Um, so this is the EPS, and uh, it doesn't look like much. You just see a big blue blob here and a red blob here, but what it is, it's just a trough. So you got ridging out west, and you have a trough digging to the east, which is where we're at. So what happens is you get storm systems. When you get ridging, uh, storm systems, you know, really don't get trapped any, under here anywhere unless you get like an upper level low to get a cut off low or something. But what gets going here is you get storm systems that can dig right here and you have a trough digging with maybe marginal cold air maybe a lot of cold air we just don't know it's too far out but look at the time frame this is december 1st and this is the eps um when you get this look especially as we're getting close to winter what that tells a lot of us is that there's a chance for a storm system if there's enough cold air now this time of the year we're still early you know it's not even technically winter yet uh you're dealing with marginal cold air so it's kind of hard even when you have this look to get winter weather outside of the mountains but this is a good sign considering the fact that um most uh um people are calling for above average temperatures and just below average snowfall in general as we get into winter um, but this is the GEFS, same look around the same time frame, December 1st, um, has that same kind of look, uh, got troughing to the east, it's dipping down, which means storm systems can dig down, and gives some at least some cold weather, and maybe some cold rain, which is kind of depressing for some, but at the same time, um, eventually one will hit, meaning eventually it'll connect with the perfect conditions to allow for winter weather in areas outside of the mountains, so... Um, this is the latest uh, European model from overnight. Now, I'm going to flip through these frames. If, if Make sure your uh, video is in 720. I think it's the highest re uh, resolution that this will play in. Um, so you can see this says Sunday. So this is this coming Sunday. But as we get through, there's not a whole lot going on. You'll see the system that kind of goes through for Thanksgiving. This is Wednesday. Um, that pushes some rain with it. But as it moves into the southeast and the Carolinas, it looks like it kind of loses its punch. It looks like the severe weather uh, threat has definitely dropped, um, so I would worry a little bit less about that. But there will be some rain in the southeast for Thanksgiving week. We'll have to watch that. But we get into next Friday, and we're starting to get into what I call La La Land or Fantasy Land. It's when things get really inaccurate, and it's just not, it's not something you can ever set in stone. But uh, for a weather-passionate person like me or an enthusiast, um, it's fun to start to look at. It's nothing to set in stone, but it starts to give you an idea. Okay, we're getting deep enough into winter now. We're starting to see fantasy storms. Um, but here comes a big storm next weekend, moves through. Um, yeah, this looks like a pretty big storm. We're going to watch this one. We're getting to the end of the run, but check out the wraparound cold air that gets behind the storm and turns. I guess what I'm trying to get at is you're starting to see snow and snow more, uh, snow more and more south. By the time you get... Ten days out to the end of the run, um, you're seeing snow in the mountains uh, from that wraparound um, effect here. Happens a lot when you get storm systems that move through and cold air rushes behind it and there's leftover moisture behind these systems. Um, and uh, maybe the first significant snow event for the mountains. I don't, I don't know. Um, but this is December 1st. We kept talking about that time frame. I think the first few days of December will be interesting. Um you know, and we look at the temperatures, same model, European model, not a whole lot going on, just uh, 
uh, basically on and off shots of cold air. We're getting into Thanksgiving, and I can tell you one thing. I think Thanksgiving is going to be kind of warm, um, and these are uh, these are temperatures. I don't think it'll be warm necessarily. Um, I think it'll be above average for this time of year, maybe the 70s across the state. But one thing I do want to note um, is uh, some moisture is going to be either left over or ahead of the cold front. Um, or ahead of the system, so it's going to be a little bit humid Thanksgiving, I think, uh, much more humid than it's been, so uh, you got out there and play a backyard football game with the family, you're probably going to sweat a little bit, depending on how active you get, um, but we get into next weekend, and just not a lot of cold air, but what I'm watching is right here, it looks like some cold air is building, and when we get into the end of the run here, um, Let's see, and we're getting into not this Tuesday, but like next Tuesday. Um, my computer's kind of acting up a little bit. But basically, you're starting to see a more countrywide area of uh, cold air that's rushing in, uh, which basically can help set the stage for maybe a storm system. You never know. Um, it's still early in the year. Um, so this is the GFS. I'm going to show... What I want to show is, uh, let's show the overnight GFS first, because the overnight GFS was really interesting. Um, but keep in mind, this is all so far out. Um, and I'm going to flip through frames here and basically watch this area right here. This is the date, the 22nd, which is tomorrow, Sunday. And as we flip through frames here, um, try to keep up up here. Um, it's going to show that Thanksgiving system that begins to pull in here. The GFS even has less moisture, so maybe a much more drier solution if the GFS plays out. We're getting into next weekend, and uh, <coughs> check it out here. you got some troughing digging. you got a southeast ridge that's setting up, but it'll get beat down eventually. But what you got is you got this trough, and you got storm systems riding this um, trough here, and you just got waves of moisture coming up over and over again out the Gulf, you get a big time system. And uh, the Europeans showing this system too. This might be a severe weather threat too, but it, like I was talking about the last one that didn't materialize, and I always try to reiterate that, may not materialize, but this is a big time system. Now the GFS is throwing snow on the northwest quadrant of this uh, system because there's enough cold air working its way down here. Uh, that's 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 the last. This is the last day of uh, November, November thirtieth. So we're still early in the season. And check it out. You got some snow breaking out in, in west uh, West Virginia, Kentucky, and very close to the mountains of North Carolina and Tennessee. And then enough cold air rushes behind this, and there's snow starting to get in. But maybe some, you know, it's close. It's close. You're, you're getting an odd dip in the jet stream here, and um, so system moves out. Some cold air moves in. Um, and, and look at this. This is like a bowling ball of an upper low. Let's see if we can um, look at this real quick. Um, well, that's not going to show it there. I clicked the wrong one. But anyways, um, <clears throat> it, it's it that's some that's some big time. That's a that's basically that look tells me it's an upper level low. So. Uh, it's going to bring its own cold air, so you got a lot of cold air right here. But, you know, it's just an interesting look for sure. Um, I'm getting my tabs mixed up here. It's just a little bit of a lag. But anyways, that is a bowling ball right there. So we need to watch out. It brings its own cold air. Funky things happen in upper-level lows. Just ask uh, November 1st, 2014, when we got that record early season snowfall. And that's what it was. It was just a bowling ball of an upper level load that came through. But check out this system that pops up. And this is 306 hours out, guys. <laughs> but it is, it is very interesting to look at. You look at this, any cold air associated with it, who knows, man. Um, I mean, it's, it's marginal. Marginal meaning a little bit. Um, but certainly certainly some hints showing up in the long range. And that that's mainly what I want to reiterate um, is just, just some hints. Um, this is a pretty big system that gets cranking here, um, but this is far out. But so, so some interesting things really developing. Um, this is, uh, and you know, I didn't really show the 06Z. Uh, it didn't show as much excitement, I guess you could say, as far as winter weather. But it still shows, uh, quit lagging for me. All right, but it still shows, um, this is, this is 378 hours out. Totally different look, but this is a big push of cold air. You can tell by these uh, bars here 
Uh, these blue bars is basically that's a bunch of cold air working its way through here. Um, and here's a system before that. I want to show you this system. And this is uh, December 3rd, 288 hours out. But this is a good example of a system you look for. There's not enough cold air in place, but you got a low pressure digging out the gulf, and it gets going. But this is the look you want to see, but you want more cold air. If you get more cold air here, and this is early in the season, so you're just not going to see it. This is a monster winter storm, what you call a southern slider for the, um, for the southeast. And that is plenty of moisture, and you got just enough moisture that snow is breaking out in the mountains. This is just an example. Uh, you need that low pressure uh, a good little bit further um, uh, southeast so that allows for that cold air to be pushing through more. So you need more of a push of that cold air to push that low pressure more into the southeast. But that's the look right there you want. If you flip over to temperatures here, um, of course if you get on a certain position on that low pressure, you, you're on the mild, you're on the warm sector. But this is what I'm talking about. This is, uh, this is marginal cold air, but you have a system here. So it's just something to look at. As far as temperatures, uh, same run that we were just looking at. Um, let's see if we can get this thing to get rolling. You're getting into Sunday, <clears throat> and I wanted to talk about this more mild weather here. Um, another cool shot comes early next week, um, but ahead of that uh, cold front, weak cold front that kind of associated with this rain that we might get late week, uh, temperatures you know, are pretty are decently warm, not too bad. Uh, Florida's pretty warm in the 80s, but so... But as we get past Thanksgiving, and this is really the time frame that this video is really talk, uh, I'm, I'm kind of zeroing in on, um, it looks mild, but as you start to get into the first couple days of December, I can't say it enough, something, something changes for sure. You get more sustained cold air, you get some widespread freezes the first of uh, December, if the GFS is right. This is pretty far out, guys. And uh, just more cold air to work with for anything, not just the southeast, but for any anybody needing snow. Because a lot of places in the eastern U.S. have not seen much, have not seen nothing major. November's been a very active month the last few years, and this November has not. So um, then a big blast at the end of the month really comes through, but this is so far out that it doesn't matter. Um, I want to show you this. This is the European EPS total snowfall. This is basically a control run. It's just basically pinpointing there's basically uh 50 runs uh that shows up here and uh it's kind of an average so this is the greenville uh greer um uh area <laughs> so <clears throat> basically i'm showing this because starting december 1st if you look up you start seeing hints doesn't mean it's going to snow it doesn't but basically, you're starting to see hints of something, of a maybe maybe a decent pattern showing up. It's basically 50 runs of this EPS run here of the control members showing this. And But if you look at Asheville, that's a lot of runs. I haven't counted on them, but that, that's a lot of runs of an average of a, a, a fourth of an inch of snow. <laughs> so something starts showing up right at the beginning of December. <clears throat> if, if you like December snow like me or are praying for a miracle for... December snow, you'd like to see this look, even though if you, if we look at the Columbia one, which I'm not going to show, it probably shows no members, but um, Asheville, check it out. You know, it's just something we need to watch. Um, if you look at the 8, 4, 8 to 14 day outlook, as far as temperature probabilities, they're not talking about it much yet, but I can tell you that it's just, it's just calling for slightly below average now, 33% chance, so it's starting to dwindle away until we when you get in that December 4th, December 1st, uh, just the first week of December. So I know that's not a very detailed video. I, I can't predict a, a winter storm uh, the first week of December. That's just not what I'm going to do, um, and nobody should. But it's just an area to watch for we're starting to get into a better look that we need for winter weather in the southeast in general, whether that's in the mountains, whether that's maybe somewhere outside the mountains, who knows. But... That's all I got, guys. I appreciate y'all watching. I know this was a longer video, but I do want to talk about the potential. So um, y'all have a great rest of your weekend, and uh, stay blessed and be safe. Thank y'all.